electrical devices that harness the energy of wind were used as early as in ancient Persia in the 9th or 10th century. The most advanced form of windmill was developed in the Netherlands in the 17th century. Windmills were typically built on natural or artificial elevations where the wind flow was undisturbed. Dutch windmills were usually built of wood, adobe, bricks, or stone. Their conical roof provided lower air resistance. The roof or cap was placed on a movable mechanism that allowed it to be rotated so that the sails always faced the wind. The internal space of a windmill usually consisted of a few, usually three, floors. The cap housed the brake wheel, one of the most important components of the mechanism. The aerodynamic force that arose on the sails was converted into the rotary motion of the wind shaft. The brake wheel, connected to the wind shaft, transmitted its rotation to the upright shaft. The upright shaft drove three axles through transmissions of the great spur wheel and the stone nuts. The axles drove the millstones, which were placed on the second floor, also called the stone floor. The millstones were part of the windmill that ground the wheat or other grains. They were covered with a casing made of stone or wood. The flour was then transferred to flour chests placed on the bottom floor through pipes. The bags of flour were moved between the floors by mechanical lifting devices while workers used ladders. Windmills were once commonly used throughout Europe, but their importance declined at the time of the Industrial Revolution. Many windmills have recently been restored for their historical value. Of the 10,000 windmills in use in the Netherlands in the 19th century, about 1,000 are still standing.